Hello, welcome to another guide. Now today we are doing tough screen punching. I know I'm skipping a bunch of towers, I'll do them eventually. Well actually, the first few floors aren't too bad, but then there's floor 9, which is actually the last floor by the way. This tower only has 9 floors. But yeah, this tower is literally only challenging because of the, the last 3 floors. So anyway, basically just get up here. And now you have a bit of a pick up path, so I always go this way. I don't know what the quickest way is or the easiest way. But I go this way and it's pretty easy and it's pretty quick. This is one of those towers where you can't really say much because it's mainly just really simple jumps. And we have these spinners, nothing special. Then we have one of these jumps. Uh, you should probably beat Tower of Stress before this and Tower of Stress already has one of those jumps. But yeah, you just go around it. So doing this part regularly is literally impossible. What you actually want to do is get to the very top of this triangle and then quickly do this movement that I'm about to do. There you go. I can't really explain that because it's a lot of keys and my brain's not big enough, but basically you just do that. Hey, here's a nice one stood skip. The regular route, basically, uh, the thicker blocks are just falling. Hey, I'll show you how to do this route though. So you just kind of turn in and go on this stud. Don't go on this stud, there's no point. Then go up this tightrope, then go up this tightrope. You can actually align this with alignment keys if you want. And now these one studs actually fall. It's one of the only times you'll see one stud falling. And anyway, for whatever reason, one of these blocks here, the one that's a little lower, that one falls. I don't know why that's there, but it is there. And then we have this trust bit. And now this is a skip that pretty much everyone does. So you just kind of get to the edge. It's not hard. And then you just kind of jump onto this invisible stud. You might not see it on recording, but it's pretty easy to see. Now this tower, among being not very good, has some of the worst color schemes I've ever seen. Anyway, this is one of these walls, so basically all you really have to do is hold W and D and then you'll go across it. And actually, since this is a truss, and the mechanics don't suck like the one-step platforms, you can actually just hold D and then you'll go across it. And just going over here, these are slightly slanted. This is a very big walking section. Yeah, for whatever reason, this jumps a bit long, so just do it forwards. And now, I don't know how anyone's meant to know this, but basically, just walk forwards because it's invisible platforms. And for this one, the same. And then you have an invisible ladder. And there's another skip that everyone does. Instead of going all the way around there, uh, just jump on top of this wrap. And then just jump on this wire, or line, whatever. I don't know what you skip, I don't know what all that is, I've literally never done it, but just do this. Anyway, now we just have another random spike in difficulty. This jump's quite long, so basically just do another one of those. Now these are falling, but don't like instantly jump them, don't hold space by, just go on them a little bit, then jump. Now this is where the tower actually starts being a bit hard. So just kind of go around here. These jumps are uh, a little small, but it's fine. And then this first one starts fine. But these two one studs go crazy. I don't know why they do, but they do. So watch that. Yep, they go spinny. Uh, these jumps, you could do like a, what is that? Like a 12 and a half stud jump. Or you could jump up here and then do the jump from there, which you should definitely do. Anyway, now you don't have to go over there or there. I don't know why that's there. Just jump over here. And then we have this. Is this a half stud? I don't know. It's pretty small platform, basically. And then this I can collide. Oh no, it's actually can't collide true. I was gonna say can't collide false. Anyway, now this is another one of those traps like we saw on the other floor. I just think that's like lower. Go on a little bit and then jump. And make sure you're straight with the angle as well. Now we have an outside section. Ooh, scary. Thankfully it's really easy though, so all you have to do is just do these really easy jumps. And go on this one, so then you just wanna hold W on this ladder. Now fitting into this wall is kinda trash. Also, add, there's literally nothing in here. I don't know why it's here. It's two. Jump into it and then just like hold W at the end. Now this jump kind of sucks, so basically just get to the edge. You want to hold D at the peak of your jump, so just peak jump and then hold D and then because Roblox physics are so good, it'll like bump you up a little bit and you'll land on the block. Now this is where that tower actually gets hard. Yeah, these platforms are normal, but these are conveyors that push you backwards. So you want to hold W at all times and space at all times. Actually W not really, but just keep pressing W like a little bit. Get like to the peak, press D and go over that and then over here then hold W and space over here. Just don't get bonked too much to the kill brick and go over here. Anyway, this is the best route for this uh, one stud thing. Make sure you're right at the top of it at all times. And we have uh, amazing gameplay once again. Now over here, you just want to go around this. I'm like that. And then you don't have to go around that. Over here, do this forward so you can climb it. Now this is a really good skip. That over there, bad. We don't want to do that. You want to jump on this brick, basically. Get into this position where you're almost off the block and hold space and W, and then you'll go across. Anyway, now it's this floor. So uh, just kind of go into this. Go outwards on this because you could hit your head and bad stuff could happen. What is this song? Auburn Toon put his own song in the thing. I was about to say, what is this trash? No offense, but what is this? Bro. <laughs> Such a bad remake. Anyway, just do those wraps, go over here. And there's another useful skip. You don't skip anything hard, but just go on this truss right here. It's pretty easy. Now, uh, this part looks a bit confusing. Like, oh, where do I go? There's too many paths. But just follow the path I go. So you should avoid this blue truss. It's a troll. It doesn't even work. Go down here and then jump down. 
Now here, now these are like bumpers, so you'll take like a bit of damage. Now do this like an outwards thing, because you could hit your head there. Could you? I don't even know, but maybe. Anyway, these are head fears, so go right at the end. And they have one stud poles. But yeah, I do these forwards because, I don't know, I just do. And this part, it's the main part you need guidance with, because uh, none of it makes sense. It's, I don't know how it expects you to know all this, but... Here you just have to hug the wall. Then you want to go in the middle of this, there's a little invisible platform. And then go to the edge of this. There's another invisible platform. And once again, very well indicated, actually, you can see it there. You can't see it on the other one, though. But anyway, yeah, so just jump in the middle of the poles. And now here, I don't exactly know where the platform is, but I jump in the middle and it works. And now we have tight ropes. You should do these slowly. I'm not going to do that though. Because we're about to get to the really bad part. Now go on here. High jump on top of this kill brick. Go on this one. And now you have this. You skipped all that, but now you have some absolute terrible jumps to do. So yeah, uh, these, you just want to do like a full spin around them. Or like this. The worst one. Yeah, like that. You have to really quickly turn in. Now you just want to go over here last bad jump and now once you're here you're pretty much good so just high jump on top go over here and now from here it's just a straight line over here and there you go that's tough true skill <laughs> never mind that's not tough true skill i don't know what i'm talking about tough screen punching there you go so yeah not a great tower but you might as well beat it because i think it's a pretty easy challenging compared to others yeah bye